Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot Mode and today on Hot Mode we are reacting to Kendall Jenner's Outfits of the Week. I don't speak much Italian. Ciao. Come stai? Andiamo. Va bene. Grazie. Per favore, prego. Si, 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 si. So I don't really know what to expect from this video, but we're gonna get into it, we're gonna react to it. I will discuss. Buckle in, peeps. Buckle in. Hey Vogue, I'm Kendall Jenner and this is what I wear in a week. Okay Kendall, hello, ciao, come stai? You know, I know. Nothing crazy exciting, very casual. Lindy, Mandy, Lindy. I don't remember the days of the week in Italian, I apologize. So this I'd say is my everyday kind of running errands, running around town look. Okay, listen, it's very like cash, black jeans, fitted top, red knit sweater slung over the back of the shoulder, which I think the styling that is cute, it's fun. I like the fact that it's hanging down instead of being tied. How realistic you're running around with that on, not sure. I would say probably highly unlikely, but I like the look in and of itself. It's easy, clean, and simple. I am wearing a little black tee by Sunday's Best. Um, my jeans are Kate. They are actually probably my most favorite jeans ever. Best fit and super long. Kate is a New York based brand. It's a similar vibe to like the Row, Hermesi kind of vibe where it's really casual clothes. There are some like really exciting looks on the runway always, but I feel like it's become something that people go to for like really nice staple sort of basics. I don't know much about the Kate jeans, but Kendall Jenner is somebody that really does wear a lot of Kate. She wears it on the red carpet. She wears it, I think, in her everyday life. Jeans are not something to lie about. It should be a sacred code amongst all human beings that we tell each other the truth about our jeans. Which is hard for me to find. I don't usually find jeans that are long enough for my legs. So these are perfect. They're at the perfect high waist, mid waist spot. To be honest, from that conversation, I feel like Kate jeans probably very model. Esque, so prepare yourself for that if you are short like moi. My red sweater is as well Kate. Okay. Um, there's a common theme going on. I love Kate. But I yeah, she really does love Kate. This sweater looks nice, so I like the color of it. It looks like a cute knit. I don't know what it looks like on. I definitely could see this being like one of the looks from White Lotus season two, to be completely honest. I love the pop of red. I kind of get cold all the time, so I love having something on me where I can warm myself back up. My loafers are the row. They're this really pretty like brown with like almost like a hint of red in them. The loafers look very brown, casual, penny. Nothing really super exciting or super memorable. Again, I don't really get putting brown shoes with a black outfit. Outfit, even if there is like a twinge of red to the brown, I still don't really understand it. Like black loafers exist. That's just me. It's a personal thing. Don't ever leave the house or a hotel without a pair of sunglasses. I just feel safe behind them mm. or something. So I have to have my sunnies. These are vintage. They're Gucci. Love these guys. Okay, so like she really wears those. This is like her wardrobe seems like, which I respect. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add a bag. This is a brand new Bottega bag that I'm loving right now. Good guy, also the perfect size. Okay, so this Bottega bag is like making the rounds. This bag is called the Andiamo bag, and at least from what I'm seeing right now, I just saw pictures of like Jacob Elordi wearing it. Other celebrities, they're getting placements of the bags in different sort of ways. So this Andiamo bag seems to be the new summer bag. It's a tote bag, it's in that Interreccio weave, which is the specific and very sort of memorable house code weave that you see here. That's why that texture is that way. It's very Bottega, quiet, whispering wealth. I don't want to say like quiet, Andre. That is what Bottega is known for. And Bottega since at least like the 1970s has always sort of put that spin on their brand where it's like, we don't need to do like a whole big monogram, and make everybody know. It's like, if you know, you know, if you get it, you get it. And I think that's kind of what's going on here. It's, it's a tote sort of bag, but it also Love has a it. top handle. I think it looks cute. Like I'm not, personally wouldn't go out and buy it myself. The Interreccio I think is cute, but it's not really for me. But I think for people that are looking for a good quality, sturdy tote bag that they can carry around town, more power to you. Okay, so like first look, let's talk. I don't hate it. Honestly, I, I think for the most part from like the calf up, I really like it. I think it's casual. I think it's chic. I think it's easy. It's super believable. The one thing is the shoe. I just don't 
get. Also, I did not know that the Italians call a loafer a moccasini. I will call everything a moccasini from now on. That's my new favorite word. All right, moving on. Martedì. Martedì, Tuesday. So this is what I'm calling my fashion week look. I feel like, you know, going between shows as a model, probably not the look. But I think Kendall also is very much so easily established that she's not like the other girls. She doesn't walk that many shows. She's an exclusive kind of gal. I guess that's kind of the vibe here. I am wearing a vintage Dolce & Gabbana. Okay. Dress, which I love. It's very comfortable and stretchy. So I can get in and out of buildings, in and out of cars, go to shoots and shows and feel really comfortable and not feel like I'm really constrained. I actually feel really good in this dress. Okay. These are vintage Gucci boots. They're just a good find. I love them. You'll probably see me in these boots all the time. I do feel like these sort of pointy, almost knee high boots are very, very in vogue. They seem to really have come back. I feel like a lot of them were like vintage Prada boots, vintage Gucci boots. They feel very 1990s that were inspired by the 1970s in my personal opinion. And there's definitely sort of a resurgence of them. I would say like the sort of model set, like a Bella Hadid, a Kendall, that's kind of who's really bringing them about. It's not, again, personally for me, but like, do I own a pair of Prada boots that look like this that are vintage? I'm intrigued by the Prada shoe wear history. Absolutely. So, to each. This Thoreau bag is, again, just a good basic. I'm obsessed with her. Okay. A little clutchiana. It has a little leather strap over top. Nothing and super then, crazy. Once again, a vintage Gucci sunglass. These you will catch me in every single day. And this is kind okay. of the vibe. Don't love it. Don't hate it. It's there. A little Italian designer in Italy. Milan Fashion Week. I can see it now. Okay. 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 Got it. Thank you. To each, but I'm not really I'm not obsessed. I don't love it. I think the dress is okay. I think it's fine. The darts are nice and like whatever. They work. The boots, I get with the bag. I understand the boots with the bag and I understand the muted sort of gray color of the dress. I see it. And then pair in the sunglasses, sure. Like, get it. I think it works. I think it flows. It's just also not for me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Mercoledì, Wednesday. So this is simple. Simple. Going to work, going to set, going to a meeting look. This is kind of my everyday. I'd say this is a uniform for me. Again, a t-shirt. This one's white and a pair of jeans. And then I like to kind of throw something special on. This coat, which is the row, shocker. It's a beige coat, no offense. I'm not saying that I hate her on the row. I'm not, I like the row. I think it, it works. I think it's gorgeous. I think the materiality is great. I look at the runway every season. I'm like, oh, this looks like vintage pieces. Like it looks nice. But at the same time, I'm like, is the row, a oh, coat from the row really like the special piece? I wear. No. But I get for the context, it makes sense. But I love it, just a good classic trench. Mm. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's a coat I can wear in the spring, so I love my row coat. This is another Sunday Best tee. This one's in white, they're so good and stretchy and kind of a thicker fabric. Yeah, that's the other thing. I personally do like a thick t-shirt. I'm not trying to push anybody in a certain direction, but like I buy my t-shirts from Uniqlo U, which is by the guy that does La Mer. They're really great t-shirts. I've had them since that first collection dropped and like I wear them all the time. They're really beautiful. They make me very happy about life. These jeans again are Kate. They're okay. the exact black jean that I had on earlier. And I respect that as well. Honestly, you find a jean that fits, you buy it in all the colors that you can, and you rewear, rewear, rewear. I will never get sick of these jeans, like I said before, best fit ever. Love them. And then my boots are also my ultimate favorite. These are the row as well. Oh my God, okay. It's very the row. It's not that I dislike the row, I don't. I just, you know. Okay. A take on a riding boot, and I am yeah. a horse girl, so I Nay. love these boots a lot. They, they feel like me. I feel like if I was a boot, this is what I would be. Okay. I'm adding sunglasses because, like I said, I can't leave the house or the hotel without them. I guess it's an interesting thing about the sunglasses. I presume they're gonna be incorporated into every look. If you are sort of followed by paparazzi everywhere you go, that's something that you're kind of constantly dealing with, is people chasing you with cameras, which personally, I would never want. This camera right now that I'm talking to is enough and I only have to talk to it like twice a week. I understand the sunglass element. I think that it gives you the ability to feel somewhat protected. So I get that and I think it's an interesting concept. 
for dressing in a different lifestyle. And I mean the lifestyle of kind of constantly being discussed, talked about, watched, photographed. Uh, it's intriguing. So these are also vintage Gucci. I guess that I have a common theme. I have a lot of um, vintage Gucci sunglasses. And the Ra, a lot of the Ra. And then last but not least, I'm adding a bag. Okay. This oh wow, we is are. This is a the row, the row infomercial. Mary Kate and Ashley are very happy. It's a really good bag to add a pop of color. Okay, not really memorable. Not for me. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But again, I don't love it. It doesn't really make me feel anything. Giovedi Thursday. I didn't even know that that was one so of them. So this is my airport look. I love okay. to be comfortable on a plane, so don't get it twisted. I am not wearing these jeans on the airplane. I wearing jeans on the plane, if you have good jeans that are broken in, I don't think it's an issue. Sometimes I lay in bed in jeans and I get flack for it. But it's like, if my jeans are comfy, my jeans are comfy. I did a good job and I'm proud of myself. I always have a pair of leggings in my carry-on that I carry with me everywhere so that I can roll up in style. Okay. And then change into my leggings on the actual plane. So yeah, I'd say this is my airport. Okay, maybe if you're in like a PJ, short for a private jet, you can do that. I don't know, personally, you would not catch me trying to figure out in a regular commercial airplane bathroom how to change from jeans to anything else. I go through my security in like an all black sweatsuit with black little Burks and my bag. I live my best life and that's that. Maybe if you are on a PJ, you can do that. This is a Ralph Lauren jacket from 2018. Okay. Vintage tee. These are some Levi 501s. I think these were men's. They were huge on me when I got them and I tailored them to fit me. Okay. Can't ever really find a jean that's long enough I for me unless that. they're probably men's. Or they're the Kate jean. So these are Levi's 501s. The most iconic three digits when it comes to jeans. I personally, personally, not for like, you know, jeans that are meant to like look super good and super chic and elegant. If I'm buying like jeans that are meant to be a little bit more comfy, I buy Wrangler. I don't know why I'm telling everybody this, but like, they're cheaper. And honestly, like the days where I'm like, tight jeans are not gonna fit my body, Wrangler jeans work for me. And then these are row boots. Pointy heel, the pointy heel is happening. I'd probably actually wear it zipped up. Zipping her up. With the baseball hat. Sunglasses. Always and forever. Somebody was saying that Nowadays, because of the advent of private jets and the way that celebrities travel on private jets, there are a lot less sort of paparazzi images. So there's a lot less like airport looks than, you know, historically what was happening, I would say pre-COVID, which I think is really interesting. Personally, am I dying to see like airport outfits from celebrities? No. Do I also personally think that like the zoo that is airport paparazzi videos and photographs, it like concerns me. I couldn't imagine, again, doing that in a public, like people being allowed in the airport and all that, like it's too much. I like don't personally like it and I feel like it subjects some people, especially when they're with the kids and stuff, not nice experiences. Be work, let it all be known what happened if you did that. But that's an intriguing element too, is that the airport look is sort of dead to a degree in a celebrity sense. This is me to the airport. I go. Venerdì, Friday. This is my vacation look. Okay, that I think is cute. I get that. I like it. I like the little dip in the pan. I like the bandeau element, the white shirt with the little perforation that comes down, I think is really clean and nice and fun and easy. I think, I think this is a great vacation look. Like if, you know, I'm going to vacation and it's April, this is like, I'd be so happy with that. Um, I am wearing a pair of row slouchy flowy pants. Okay. I don't know what they're called, but they're super comfortable. Little bra top and a Bodhi shirt. The Bodhi shirt. I kind of thought it was Bodhi, but I didn't want to say because I'm not an expert. The perforation on a white men's shirt feels very Bodhi. It feels very easy. I went to the Bodhi store recently and like the clothes feels like something you want to wear on vacation. There's a lot of nice crisp clean tops. I think a lot of the pieces are upcycled or they're made from upcycled fabrics. I'm intrigued. I love this shirt. It's so pretty. I'd probably add a good bag. I love this Bodhi bag, keeping in theme with my Bodhi shirt. Mm. This bag was okay. a birthday gift. Horse girl. I love it very much. It's just good. I love having like a big sack bag. Big sack bag for the beach is very important. Or like when you're on vacation, you gotta put everything in there. Everything under the sun just has to fit. I get that, I respect that. The beach or just to be able to throw all my stuff in, some books and some sunscreen. And yeah. 
But I love this bag. It's personalized to me and my life. I was gonna say. My dog and my horse. His name's Arizona. Even like the car. I know that Kendall Jenner like loves the Jeep or whatever. My car, some favorite places I've been. Kung Fu Kenny is what my friends call me. It's a lot of me on this bag. So I love it so much and it's very big. It's the perfect size for vacation. So mm. I'd say this is my vacation vibe. I respect that. I like the look. I think it's cute. Sabato. I didn't know that that meant Saturday. So this is my night out look, birthday party look, whatever you want to call okay. it. I love to be really, really comfortable when I go out, but also feel really cute and sexy, I guess. I like to have something very form fitting. So that's why I love this dress. It's a little silky. It really does fit her very well. Like she had that tailored, but I'm also like, I don't know, me after a few drinks, that dress would not fit me. Love a little snatched waist. The whole look is Bottega, so literally from ears to toes, it, I am in all Bottega. In a weird way, it looked like Bottega to me. I think it's something about the fit of it, to be honest, just the way that it sort of sucks in. And I don't know, something also about the straps. Like there's something about a Bottega strap that Mathieu Blasi has made kind of very distinct and memorable. Dress Bottega shoes. Um, I love Bottega right now. They're one of my favorite Italian designers. So super happy to always be wearing them. I wore a version of this dress to the US Open last year. It was in a pastel yellow. Mm. This is a little black silky one. I love the fit of this dress. I think it's super form fitting and cute. Honestly, from the side, it looks nice. I like the way that it flares out at the back. I think it's nice. There's a little bit of length at the back too, which is fun. I work for Forward and I have the privilege of stalking their website at all times. I got this whole look on Forward, which mm. is really fun. Oh yeah, she is. She's like a creative director of Forward. I presume that it's an online retailer. I think I've looked at it before, but for context. I'd say this is a good one. This kind of matches Bottega my bag. shoes and it's also Bottega. That bag came out during Mathieu Blasi's first collection, I believe for Bottega, which was fall 2022. It's made up of the Interreccio sort of weave, which we can see at the bottom in that red. But the thing that's really cool is a handle in gold. It's a fish handle. I really like it. I think it's really fun. It's cute and chic and elegant. And as the seasons have progressed, Mathieu Blasi has sort of continued to incorporate in different ways. I know that the most recent collection, fall 2023, actually had fish handles that were like hand blown of in glass. I think Mathieu Blasi really sort of is hammering home the little fish element. The bag is actually called the Sardine bag, and I believe that this is in syrup color. She's a pricey little little gal, but she's cute and fun. Lambskin, she's on lines, metallic closure. The metallic handle is crafted by artisans and showcases nuances and engraved markings. The one thing I will say about Bottega is it's a brand that you really, unless you're getting to see the things up close and hearing the stories of how the things are made, you don't really get it. And I can say that as somebody that prior to literally like two months ago, I didn't really get it. People are like making some of those pieces like by hand by hand to the point where each of them is literally unique, which is crazy. So I'm, I'm sure that like the gold handles are probably each unique. They might not be super duper noticeable in terms of uniqueness. A lot of the Bottega stuff really is about like actual craft where I think a lot of brands say we're big into craft. Bottega really, really wants to like push craft. Mathieu Blasi has really been like working on building out this artisanal sort of element of the brand that already was there, but sort of making it more and more sort of the forefront of what makes the brand so, so wonderful and memorable. It's cool to see a little craftiness going on there. This is most likely what I would wear on a night out to a birthday party or a friend's dinner or anything like that. So I feel very comfortable and I love it. To be honest, also looking at the shoe, the way that the shoe sort of plays into the bag color, the way that the gold handle of the bag plays into the earring, like I'm into it, I'm fine with it. I think it works, it's nice. The dress is cute, like it's not my favorite look ever, but like I don't hate it, I think it's fun. And finally, Domenica Sunday. So if Sporty you girl. Guess, this is my workout day. This is probably what you'll find me in most days of the week. I mm, not me. Getting up pretty early every morning and hopefully Ever. going for a workout. I usually do Pilates. Fun fact, I tore my ACL this weekend. I don't really play a lot of sports, but I played a singular game of pickup basketball and my whole knee almost came off. So me, therapy, fine. Physical therapy, not fine. Maybe I'll have to take some recommendations from Miss Kendall Jenner. That's why I have Sambas on rather than a real, you know, proper gym shoe. But yeah, this is my going to Pilates look, I guess. I'd add a sweatshirt. I love this one. This was actually my dad's sweatshirt. Oh, nice. Now I can't say anything mean about it. And it's just super it. old and cozy and really worn in. Yeah, the USA. Oh, so that shit probably is like from the Olympic. 
I get Still it. Going to the gym. Last but not least, this is the bag you will see me in most in life. If you follow me at all, I am wearing this bag probably every single day. It is definitely the most worn bag that I own. It's, again, the row, and it's just a good slouchy tote bag. Okay, I get that. I understand that. You're going to the gym, carry your water bottle, your towel, your keys, your wallet. I get it. Goes with literally everything. Well, I wouldn't say that, but okay. Uh, lastly, my sunglasses. Vintage Gucci. And I'm done. Okay, yeah, like it's a workout outfit. It's kind of like a throwaway. I don't really love it, don't really hate it. Do we think the Usa sweatshirt element of it is kind of intriguing? Cause it's probably like from the Olympics or references the Olympics. Caitlyn Jenner was in, in the seventies. Sure, absolutely. But the rest of the outfit, uh, uh, you know, it's very, as of right now, I would say it's very zeitgeisty. Thanks Vogue. Thanks Kendall, appreciate that, that. lovely. Let's discuss this a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, very unmemorable, very uninteresting. At the same time, very Kendall jenner E. Just very unremarkable, unintriguing, just sort of run of the mill. Do we think it's interesting that at least she has an idea that this is what I am, this is how I work, this is what I wear. And she does that with luxury brands that speak to that idea of simplicity and really good product and craftsmanship and quality. I respect that, absolutely 100%. I think if you're gonna spend that kind of money, you're gonna work with brands in that way. It makes sense to do that, to not try to be super over the top and crazy and all that. So I get that, I respect that. But I think looking through it, the video is just, again, not really necessary to watch. So let's talk about best and worst. Best, the vacation look. I thought that that was cute. I thought that that worked. I thought it added a little bit of fun and funk and felt a little bit more Italiana. Mama, new Bottega, prada da. As for like the worst outfit, the workout outfit, it's like a throwaway again. I would say the second one, it was like fine, but it's like you're wearing Dolce, why? Again, it just, it was kind of unmemorable. It wasn't really exciting, it just existed. So please let me know what you guys thought of Kendall Jenner and her seven days, seven looks in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, concerns, critiques, opinions. We have more of these videos coming up, so don't worry. I will see you guys in the next one, NTTYL.